What's up, YouTube family? Welcome to Codename the Wolfman. You're rocking with the Wolfman. Today, we're going to jump right into the unboxing of the DJI Mini 4K drone. Super cool here. So, for anybody who's new to the channel, this is a crypto channel about everything crypto, crypto news, etc. I just want to start this off by saying this is Wednesday, August 5th, Tuesday, August 5th, excuse me, and the crypto market is bleeding out along with the stock market. So, things aren't looking too well. But it is a good time to buy. It's not financial advice. But once, you know, during the dip, it's always a good time to buy or get into those investments that you want to see pay off in the future. Now, without further ado, we're going to get right into the unboxing of this DJI Mini 4K. I'll jump right into some of the specs on this device uh, right here from space.com. So I appreciate that. Uh, some of the pros it lists here up to 4K as far as video quality, 4K 30 frames per second, great flight performance, and it has a really good price. So I did get this at a really good price point off of Amazon, guys. Um, some of the downfalls or some of the cons here would be it does not have built-in obstacle avoidance like some of the other higher-end higher DJI drones that have other cameras surrounding it. So it doesn't have the obstacle avoidance. Um, it does say here that it overstates the flight time. I think it states the flight time to be about 30 to 31 minutes when actuality space.com states, you might get about 21 minutes of flight time. Um, and one of the biggest things for me was it does not have some of the intelligent flight modes such as the follow subject, uh, tracking. So, uh, I mean, those are kind of some small things. Now, just to give you some of my background, you can take a look at uh, what my oldest YouTube channel, which actually got me into YouTube. I was formerly known as the Mavic Man. So I had the original Mavic Pro that was put out by DJI. And I kind of considered myself a drone ninja. I would go anywhere and everywhere and I could just sit back, not be noticed and fly my drone. Now with this one, I am gonna be a bit more conservative um, and responsible with what, with what I'm doing. What you really wanna do is look to get a, one, a part 107 license that way you're licensed to be an actual drone pilot and you're more responsible for your actions here so you're doing it the right way not just out there flying all crazy but if you want to see my former or my past videos take a look at my channel um, it is rebranded as plastic glass and you'll see it here as we get into the unboxing so i appreciate everybody for being here please like share and subscribe but let's jump right into the unboxing of the dji mini 4k and we'll jump right over so here's our dji mini 4k as always the first thing is just checking out the actual packaging it's still wrapped in plastic awesome very neat packaging which i love it speaks to the product in my opinion you have very detailed packaging now like i mentioned if you take a look right over there that is my former drone channel it has been rebranded as plastic glass but it has all of my former drone videos and i went some of everywhere here in california um flew near stadiums did a lot of scenic views with this so i uh, plan to continue that with the dji mini 4k my channel is going to be primarily for 4k videos scenery and just getting that extra perspective but i really do like this packaging it's really nice packaging and of course we'll delve right into it let's get the plastic off it's always the best part we'll get right into the plastic and as we do this i'll just go into uh some of my previous drones is what happened with my original Mavic Pro where I was a Mavic man. And the last flight that I took, I was actually filming some drag races and uh, my aircraft had some type of issue and it actually crashed, fell out of the sky and crashed, uh, smashing the sides of my Mavic Pro. And once that occurred, you know, I was out of commission guys, so. Just want to bring that to your attention, but we do have the plastic off, which is perfect. Now, pop that box right open. As you can see, it has a QR code at the top. So this is for the DJI Fly app, which is recommended to use with flying your 
DJI products or your drones. Now, one thing I remember about the DJI Fly app is it actually does present you with a map. Uh, and there are a number of places that are considered no fly zones by the government. I think those have increased as regulation has increased. So you want to be really careful about where you fly. And that speaks to being responsible about where and how you're flying. Now, there used to be other third party apps that you could use and you can might be able to circumvent that. But you really don't want to get in that type of trouble uh, with your drone. So I already have this application from my previous drone downloaded uh, to my iPhone or my iPad. I usually like to connect to an iPad, has a larger screen, has more viewing area. Now for me, I actually have the fly more combo. So I noticed right out of the box, right out of the box here, everything is in this nice tight little pouch. So look how, how, how small this is. This is gonna speak to the size of the mini 4K, but mine does come with the aircraft, this pouch, three batteries and a battery charging compartment that can support uh, these three batteries. So it's a, like a multi-charger and we'll unzip and get it right into it. But I'm already digging this carrying case, very nice. I used to carry mine in like a, a lunchbox or a backpack, but we'll get right in and unzip. And this is really good quality carrying case. It feels like some sort of leather. Uh, now this is the drone itself, wow. I actually thought this might be a battery, but this is the actual drone. This is tiny. And compared to my original Mavic Pro, this is tiny, but look at that camera. You can see, guys, the camera's in there. It's all wrapped up right now. It's fresh out of the box. Love these fresh out of the box project uh, products. Wanted to give it a good smell. It has that new product smell to it, right? It has to do outgassing of the product. So when you get new products and it has that smell, it's an outgassing that's occurring from the manufacturer. So anybody who hasn't heard of that, you can look up outgassing. But that's super nice. Super tiny. Fits right in the palm of my hand. Now it says it still has really good performance. That's what I'm really going to be interested in seeing. A drone this size still being able to have great performance. Another thing I noticed in the tech specs, this thing has a range, um, a range of up to six miles of states. My original Maverick Pro had two mile range limit and I used to fly pretty far. I mean, over the Bray Bay Bridge, in some places that people might be afraid to fly, I would fly mine. I flew it up in the mountains and snow. Um, so I flew it in two extremes, my Magic Maverick Pro. I flew it in freezing temperatures, and believe it or not, it didn't kill the battery because that can kill the battery of even your iPhone or Android phone. And I also flew it in 100 plus degrees, and it still handled without a problem uh, down at the river. So that's super impressive. Now next out of the box, is our intelligent flight controller, our DJI controller. And as I stated, I think some of the new ones actually have a built-in screen. I don't really need the screen because I'm gonna use my iPad. Uh, so I look forward to bringing you guys some content from that, but we'll rip, rip it out the plastic because it is brand new. And just like that, DJI flight controller. Looks like it has a power button there and return home button here. And it has the three different flight modes. So it has Cine, Cine, Normal, and Sport as the flight modes. And one thing that's interesting is the controller, it doesn't have any of the joysticks or control sticks attached. So I assume that will be in the box as well. We'll get, we'll get them all attached before I made in first flight. Um, and one thing just to mention here, because this product, it is really stable. It can return to home on its own. Um, I actually see the controller, the joysticks right underneath. That's super cool. They tuck in now. So that's really nice. In my older version, they would be on there. You needed uh, like a protector to protect it when you were storing it. Now they've learned that you could just store those sticks at the bottom 
And then that way, when you're traveling or, you know, you're storing this thing, you don't have to worry about damaging your joysticks. That's super cool. That's super cool. Um, but what I was going to mention with, with this type of product, even though it's super stable, I would recommend getting the DJI Care Refresh, which is going to cover you for uh, any flyaways or any damage that might occur. Now, next out of the box, coming, everything is wrapped up nice and neat, so you know it's fresh and new. This is our battery, our multi-battery charger. It has two inside. I believe one is in the Mavic already. Two additional batteries in here. Um, look at that. DJI branded, of course. Of course, all of our specs. This is super tiny. Um, I promise my, my original Maverick Pro's battery is probably as big as this whole uh, this whole battery charger, this whole multi-battery. The one battery for that is that size. So this is truly a mini drone. Now I'm, I'm really curious to see what we get out of the 4K action here. So nice sleek bag, which is actually really nice. Um, that's everything out of the bag. So let me just show you. The bag also has compartments. So that makes sure you have a place to put the batteries, the drone, and the controller separately. You don't want anything causing damage to the other. Um, has a very nice strap, which is extendable. So you could wear that or carry that however you would see fit. But this is going to be an awesome drone, guys. Awesome addition to my grown people toys, as I'm calling them. Uh, my big boy toys and this is gonna be dope. I can't wait to show it off I can't wait to create more content with this thing again check out plastic glass Which is my other channel. It's all about scenic content 4k video um, And I appreciate you guys checking me out here while the market is bleeding out. I'm just gonna enjoy the toys that I've accumulated and um, probably accumulate some of those dips as well guys. So not financial advice. I know you visited here uh, visit with me here with the Wolfman on my crypto channel, but also check out my scenic views on plastic glass, guys. So thanks so much for rocking with the Wolfman. YouTube, I'm out.